Mother of Perpetual Help Devotions. O Eternal Father, in your plan of salvation, your word became man, announced by an angel, and born of the Virgin. Through the motherhood of Mary, you gave the human race eternal salvation. Through the resurrection of her son, our Lord, you gave joy to the world. You gave the Holy Spirit to your apostles as they joined in prayer with Mary, our mother. By the help of our prayers, keep us faithful in your service and let our words and actions be so inspired as to bring glory to your name now and forever. Hail Holy Queen, Mother Perpetual Help, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we present our petitions as the humble sons and daughters of Adam and Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, hear the prayers of your people as we come to you under the patronage of our mother perpetual help. Despise not our requests and our necessities, and deliver us from all dangers, O ever glorious and blessed Virgin. Let us pray. Grant wisdom and prudence to our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop Robert McElroy, our Auxiliary Bishops, John and Ramon, our Bishop Emeritus, Robert Brown, our clergy, and all the leaders of our nation, state, and community. Grant that people may live in social peace and religious unity. Grant that the Holy Spirit guide the sons and daughters of our parish in choosing their way of life. Grant that the people of our parish retain their health and that the sick regain their health according to your holy will. Grant eternal rest to all the deceased members of our parish and to all the souls of the faithful departed. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our grant guidance and aid in all the special intentions of this parish and all the needs of those present here. Let us silently present our personal petitions to our mother perpetual help. O Mother Perpetual Help, we the faithful proclaim your praise as the most pure bearer of God and our ready helper. You are the protection of our race, our tainted nature's solitary boast, the shelter of humankind. The Lord is with you, and through you he extends to us the gifts of his tender heart. All creation is made joyful, see you, with suppliant arms uplifted praying that the burdens of this world may be lightened, that rulers may govern wisely, and that our souls may be redeemed, and we may enter into peace with your Son. And so, blessed Lady, all-embracing refuge, we solemnly acclaim your protection and beg Christ, your Son, our brother, for his mercy that we may be kept from all evil. We acclaim your greatness. We venerate your gracious care. We present ourselves before you in faith, hope, and love, seeking the truth that will lead us along the way into the life that you share with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit forever. Amen.
Please stand. <coughs> Gather your people, O Lord. Gather your people, O Lord. One bread, one body, one spirit of love. Gather your people, O Lord. Wash us, Lord, in the waters of life, waters of mercy, waters of hope that flow from your side. Gather your people, O Lord. Gather your people, O Lord. One bread, one body, one spirit of love. Gather your people, O Lord. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, to prepare for these sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. <clears throat> Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our heart the love of your name so that, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watch of care, keep safe what you have nurtured. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit scrutinizes everything, even the depths of God. Among men, who knows what pertains to the man except the Spirit that is within? Similarly, no one knows what pertains to God except the Spirit of God. We have not received the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, so that we may understand the things freely given us by God. And we speak about them not with words taught by human wisdom, but with words taught by the Spirit describing spiritual realities in spiritual terms. Now the natural man does not accept what pertains to the Spirit of God, for to him it is foolishness, and he cannot understand it, because it is judged spiritually. The one who is spiritual, however, can judge everything but is not subject to judgment by anyone. For who has known the mind of the Lord so as to counsel him? But we have the mind of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be God. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is just in all his ways. 
Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The Lord is just in all his ways. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is just in all his ways. <coughs> the Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up those who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. All is just in all his ways. <coughs> prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Just a little reminder, we cannot sing during the Mass. Just a person who is singing. Thank you. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. <clears throat> Jesus went down to Capernaum, a town of Galilee. He taught them on the Sabbath. And they were astonished at his teaching, because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue, there was a man with the spirit of unclean demon. And he cried out in a loud voice, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Be quiet, come out of him. Then the demon threw the man down in front of them and came out of him without doing him any harm. They were all amazed and said to one another, What is there about his word? For with authority and power he commands, down clean a spirit, and they come out. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> Demons seems to be powerful, but the power of God easily triumphs he will let him take control. So as you reflect upon the reality of evil and demonic temptations, reflect also on God's desire to enter in and render them powerless. Allow God to take command and trust the God we conquered. And we might pray today, Lord, when I am tempted and confused, please come to me. Help me to discern thy evil one and his lies. May I turn to you, the powerful one, in all things. And may I rely upon the power, intercession of the holy angels that you have entrusted to me. Jesus, 
we trust in you. Amen. Please stand, let us offer with confidence, with faith, our intercessions to the Lord. That bishops, priests, deacons may receive the outpouring of the Holy Spirit in their ministry of preaching. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That political leaders in every nation may be led by God's justice and mercy as they serve their people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That God may relieve and grant assistance to all who are suffering from their physical, practical, and financial effects of sickness and ill health. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That the Holy Spirit may increase the gifts of understanding and wisdom in this community of faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. <clears throat> that all who have died in the light of Christ, especially for Jimmy Fitzgerald, who died last night, may they now rest in God's heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the people of the parish for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for all the petitions we hold dear in our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Many and great are bearers of the word. The Christ speaks, the heart seeks. Gathered as one, we listen to the word and share the meal of new birth. The wheat grows from springtime to fall. The wine flows. In Christ we recall the sharing of our lives with one and all. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. <clears throat> Let us pray. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power, to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift it up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For us, as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you form it anew. And so, it is right that all you create to serve you, and all our Redeemer praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, our host, ever on earth, a full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of holiness. May holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body 
and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, he was betraying and willingly took his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples and saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which we give out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ascended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples and saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we pour out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim you dead, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have us worthy to be your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, John, Ramon, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope and the resurrection. And who have died in mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph had espoused, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have preached to the ages, we may make to be co heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray as Jesus taught us, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and it is not a temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and gratefully grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with the will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. 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 Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Mm -hmm. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I will pray the spiritual prayer for communion for our brothers and sisters who are watching the live stream in their homes, and we're united with them in one heart. May Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I decide to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, at least spiritually, into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already then, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renew by this bread from the heavenly table. We will see you, Lord, that being the food of cherry, it may confirm in our hearts and steer us to serve you in our neighbor to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Our mass is ended. Have a beautiful day. We are one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord. We are one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord, and we pray that all unity may one day be restored, and they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. We will walk with each other, we will walk hand in hand. We will walk with each other, we will walk hand in hand. And together we'll spread the news that God is in our land. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love.